A few months before we moved to Bournemouth a couple of years ago, I befriended someone who makes latex clothing for a living, and we had a short conversation about how amazing it would be for me to model her clothes. As we were rarely in Leicester where she was based, it wasn't until a couple of months ago that this plan finally came to fruition. So if you haven't guessed it already, this video is going to be me getting hot and sweaty in some latex for your viewing pleasure, and partly my pleasure. Everyone's pleasure. Everyone's being pleasured. Before we get to me being all hot and sweaty in latex, I'm going to plug Katrona and her words. Katrona owns and runs her own latex making company. She doesn't just create her own designs, but also creates custom bespoke pieces on request. For people who don't have that sort of money to throw around, but want to experience wearing latex for themselves, she not only rents her garments out, but also she organises modelling days. To hire some of her garments, you obviously have to pay a rental fee, but also a security deposit, which you'll receive back as soon as Katrona receives the items in the post. The photo shoot days are usually day-long events that are scattered around the country, where Katrona organises professional studios and professional photographers to shoot you in as much latex as you can wear throughout the day. She also organises professional makeup artists to do your makeup and hair before the shoots, so it pretty much ends up being a whole day of pampering. One of the reasons why Katrona asked me to model for her was so she could show the genderqueer population that they'll be welcome to her modelling days. Since my photo shoot months ago, Katrona's also started making latex clothing for men to target that market and also make them welcome to her photo shoot days. I personally think it's a perfect opportunity for any couples who want to experience wearing latex together and also have a few mementos at the end. Anyway, on to me wearing latex. Hooray! <laughs> we arrived at Katrona's flat where she had organised a makeup artist to do my hair and makeup before moving on to the studio. Now a word of warning for anyone who has a penis, you can't really wear anything more than a thong underneath latex clothing, which obviously makes tucking really hard. <laughs> and so I ended up having to use gaffer tape for the first time. And I would say for my first time, I did pretty damn good. However, the only problem, the only problem is that no one forewarned me how sweaty you get when wearing latex. Whether it be a whole like thing or a short thing, you are gonna get hot. And what does sweat do to anything that's adhesive? Well, it makes it loses its stickiness. And unfortunately I had a little accident. Oh my God. So there was one point where my V-shaped tape between my legs was starting to slowly peel off in front of four girls. One of being cats, so that was all right. Not only this, but the studio that Katrina hired, the guy that owns it wanted to hang around like a weird, creepy guy. And so that was making me even more stressed, which was making me even more sweatier, which meant I needed to leave the situation to calm down a little bit and reapply. At some point, Creepy Guy finally left. Another funny thing to mention was that there was no changing room within the studio, so either I would have to go out and find a toilet to change outfits, or I would have to do it right there and then. I chose to do it there and then because it would save more time, but then realised that I was getting completely undressed apart from this warm black spot in my crotch to hide my penis. Because we didn't have much time, we only managed to shoot three outfits all together, which is a little bit sad. I wanted to try on some more of her outfits, but it's understandable as some things don't pan out as well as you think they will. But it's okay because I still got to wear some pretty latex and get some really nice pictures from it. I hope you enjoyed me awkwardly posing in latex and it's definitely something I want to do again. Despite practically being naked in front of strangers and getting all sweaty, I definitely would recommend this experience. I would also highly recommend hiring garments from Katrona or joining her on one of her many photo shoot days that she has available. You can find all the links in the information bar below and I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye!